Farming in the desert is about battling the elements. A harsh climate, little water, and poor soil. We are not the first, but uh, maybe one of the first nations ever who really found the way to cultivate the desert and make it bloom. When many Jewish people returned to the promised land in the 1800s, the land was dry and barren. Today, more than half of Israel is still desert. But just like the Bible says, Israelis have found unique ways to make the desert bloom and prosper. This is Moshav Hatzava in the central Arava Desert. Located along the Jordanian border, this area gets about an inch of rain a year. And believe it or not, local farmers use that to their advantage. From here to Europe, the distance is so short. It's, it's a so natural market for Israel. We are here ahead of everybody because of the weather. Despite the conditions, 500 farming families here produce 60% of Israel's fresh vegetable exports and 10% of its cut flower market. We grow summer crops during the winter time. Mayan Kidron oversees flower research that helps find alternative crops to improve the farmer's harvest in the Arava. We've got a new ideas, a new uh, production, a new products that we, uh, we have. For example, this small round pepper, we call it Twitty. That's the name of the variety, Twitty. Round pepper, that's another option for the farmers to grow. Each year, hundreds of people in the agriculture business visit a giant exhibition at Moshav Hatseva to learn about experiments and technology. Entrepreneur Boaz Wachtel hopes to improve plant growth by regulating root temperature. Each plant has an optimal temperature that it performs in that uh, range. Water pipes run along the roots, bringing cool water in summer and warmer water in winter. When you keep that root at that certain range and you prevent the fluctuations of day and night temperature and summer and winter, then the plant performs wonderfully and it produces more yield and a better quality and uh, the cycle is also shorter. Wachtel says he's seen great success. We produced 120 percent more uh, cucumbers, we had uh, lettuce 35 percent more weight, uh, we had basil 30 percent more, we had uh, uh, tomatoes that is usually planted in October, we planted them in, in, in during the middle of the middle of the summer. Alon Badihi is executive director of the Jewish National Fund. JNF has developed and forested the land of Israel for more than 100 years. He says it's the special commitment of these Israelis to the Arava that's making the land prosper. Without this spirit and without this belief and without this creation and innovation in agriculture, in science, in what we see in the, in the laboratory we just established together here in the Arava for the people of the Arava, it would never happen. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, the Arava Desert.